Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm doing an assembly tutorial for the die set that creates a pop-up card and is available from the KS Craft Lovers store. This die set has been designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube and I shall link her YouTube channel in the description box below as well as the link to the KS Craft Lovers store as to where you can buy this die set. So let's get started. When you receive your dies from the KS Craft Lover store, this is how they will come. This piece here will come with all these pieces joined together and you need to separate them all. We also have this piece here and you'll cut this piece twice. We also have a tree, the words Merry Christmas and the shadow. And also included in the die set is this window that opens and a window ledge. And I'll show you a card a bit later on where I've used the window and the window ledge. On to making the card. So to begin with, we need a piece of cardstock, 10 and 3 quarters of an inch by 5 and a half. And then we're going to take a ruler and we're going to measure it in the middle, which is 5 and 3 eighths. I'm just going to put a little mark with my pencil at the top and at the bottom. And then we're going to take the die that looks like this and it has those two end pieces that hang over the edge and we're going to position those over those pencil marks and I'm going to tape it into place and I like to have that solid part of the die on my right hand side and then I'm going to get this piece and I'm going to position it centrally in that open area so that there's a nice even border around and I'm going to tape that into place as well then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine and you can see that that rectangle leaves a hole and the other larger die leaves the cut and score marks to fold and you just need to very gently fold the first one's a valley the next folds a mountain fold and you need to take care that you're not inadvertently making additional folds where there's not meant to be any that last one's a valley and those two smaller areas are a valley fold as well now on the top there you'll see that the die leaves a couple of marks on the top part of the cardstock there. They're a little bit hard to see so I'm going to turn it over to the back which you can see them a little bit better there and I'm also going to take a pencil and go over them so that they're easier to see because we're going to use these marks a bit later on to line up. So I'm just making them a little bit more visible. So turn it back over and now I'm going to just work the folds and push the pop-up down so that it knows which direction it has to go and that's working the pop-up in the direction it's meant to go. So now we're going to take this die and we're going to cut it twice so we get two pieces and you'll see that there's a score line on the top and the bottom so I'm going to fold along those score lines and this creates tabs. So I'll do that to both pieces. Then I'm going to put double sided tape along those tabs, which I've gone ahead and done. Then we get to this piece here that's in the die set and what that does, it creates decorator panels to go on the front of those two pieces. So I've gone ahead and cut three of those. Two I'm going to put on these pieces and the third one I'm going to put on the front of the pop-up like so. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all those into place and now it's time to put those pieces on the right there inside the pop-up and this is where we're going to use those marks on the back to line up with. So I'm going to take one of these pieces with the tabs and you're going to make sure the decorator panel is facing that opening. And I'm going to remove the release paper from the adhesive. And we're going to position that onto the marks, making sure that the piece with the decorator panel is facing the opening because that's the front. So I'm just taking care here to line it up, making sure that it's straight before I press it down and give it a bit of a burnish so that it gets a good stick 
and that's our first piece in place for the pop-up you can see that's how it's going to look so now it's time to put the second one in do the same procedure take the release paper off the adhesive making sure that the decorator panel is facing the front and then you can position it on those two marks taking care to make sure it's straight and lined up and then press it down into place and give it a burnish and you can see now how this is all going to come together so whilst it's in this stage now this is the ideal time to decorate those panels that are inside and the front because you can then pull it down through the back like that and it's just easier to access or you could do what I did and decorated it all once it was all together it was a little bit trickier but I still managed to do it but it would be easier to do it at this point so we'll leave it at this stage for now and we'll move on to the base card so for the base card you need a sheet of cardstock that is 11 inch by 5 and 3 quarters and you're going to fold it in half and burnish it so you've got a nice crisp fold and we're going to bring in that piece and you can see that it will have a nice border around the edge so I'm going to open that card up and I'll get my pop-up piece and I'm going to fold it down so that the adhesive from the bottom of those two panels is facing up and then I'm going to get glue and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put glue not all the way to the edge of where it's going to meet the score line and I'll explain why in a minute just getting glue all over get good courage and we're going to line that up against the center score line of the base card and press it into place if you go all the way to the edge of those two narrow end pieces with adhesive it tends to bunch up when you're folding it so if there's no glue there then it's not getting caught and it's got a little bit of freedom to move makes opening and closing the card a lot easier so what I'm doing now is I'm just lifting that top panel away so I can get to the bottom one to remove the release paper from the tape because it's easier to access this now than doing it the other way around and just pressing that into place and then I'll put that one back down take the release paper off and press that tab into place holding it all firmly in place while you're doing this and then you can lift it up and test it to make sure that it's adhered down properly and that's how it's going to look now it's time to finish adhering the other side to the base card I'm just applying glue and I did find that using glue for this step was a lot easier than using double-sided tape because it gave me some wriggle room to get things straight just getting glue all over taking care not to get right up to the edge and then I'm going to close the base card down onto it pressing down firmly then you can open it up to check to make sure the adhesion is good and press it down with your bone folder so you get a good stick and that's your pop-up done I'm just testing it to make sure that it's opening and closing without any bunching in that centre fold there and it's not so that's good and it was whilst I was doing this that I realised you could actually do it in this portrait orientation as well so that's an idea for anybody out there that would like to try that that would look lovely as well so I have here a couple of sample cards that I've made earlier and this one has the window with the window ledge and when I saw that window die it immediately made me think of those kitchen garden windows that some people have in their kitchens and so that's what I did with this one I filled my window up with flowers and you open up those windows to reveal it I'm just showing you to the side there the, the layers of flowers that are inside and that's what I like about this particular pop-up card it gives like a 3d tunnel effect so you can shut the windows there everything's out of sight and the card folds down I also used a brick embossing folder on this card and this makes it look like we're on the outside looking in 
I love the way that this turned out. I have another sample here and it's a Christmas card. And when you open it up, it's a winter scene and I used the tree and the Merry Christmas from the die set and the deer were another die that I had in my stash. And I've put acetate on the panels so that I could have a floating snow effect. I used an alcohol ink background that I had in my stash that I'd made previously for the background of the scene. And for the Merry Christmas there, I've made that part of the pop-up too. And if you're going to do this, you need to be careful that you don't put the Merry Christmas too far forward on that top shelf. If you do, when you close the card down, it will poke out the edge and you don't want that. So I think mine's about a centimetre off the back of the card. So that's my tutorial finished for today. I hope you found it helpful and that you feel inspired to make one of these pop-up cards yourself. They're not that terribly hard to make and you could really decorate them in any style that you like. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links to the KS Craft Lover store to where you can buy this die set. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a great day and until next time, it's bye for now.